With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Let's discuss the given problem. In the given problem, we have a matrix C which is product of all the three matrices and then we have to find the trace for matrix C plus C cube plus C to the power 5 and so on till C to the power 99. First of all, we have to learn that what is the trace for matrix C. So for that, we need to resolve this into a simplified form. So we are going to perform multiplication here so that we obtain a matrix for C. Right, so this is 1, 7, 9, 4, 2, 8 and 6, 5, 3 as the respective entries of the matrix. Next matrix is having the entries as 0, 2, 3, minus 2, 0, 4 and minus 3, minus 4 and 0. Right, now the last is having the entries as 1, 4, 6, this one is 7, 2, 5 and this one is 9, 8, 3. Right, now we have to perform multiplication so we must learn that what is the basic rule for multiplication of two matrices. So the rule is we have to multiply the first row of the matrix with the first column of the second matrix. Right, so this becomes 1 multiplied by 0 plus 4 multiplied by minus 2 plus 6 multiplied by minus 3. So this becomes minus 18 minus 8. So that is minus of 26. Right, now we have to multiply this time first row with second column of the second matrix. So, so this becomes 0, 1 multiplied by 2 that is 2 plus 6 multiplied by minus 4. So this becomes minus of 22. Right. Now we have to multiply the first row with the third column of the second matrix this time. So this becomes 3 plus 16. So that is equal to 19. Right. Now in the similar manner we have to this time multiply the first row or second row of the first matrix with the first column of the second matrix. Right. So this becomes minus 4 plus of minus 15. So this becomes minus 19. Right. Now second row with second column. So this becomes 14 minus 20. So this is minus of 6. Right. Now second row with the third column so this becomes 21 plus 8 so this is 29 finally we have to multiply the third column this time third row this time with the first column right third row of the first matrix with the first column of the second matrix so this becomes 9 multiplied by 0 plus 8 multiplied by minus 2 plus 3 multiplied by minus 3 so minus 9 minus 16 so this becomes minus 25 right now we have to multiply this with second row so this second column sorry so this becomes 18 minus of 12 so 18 minus 12 gives us 6 right and finally third row with the third column so this becomes 27 plus of 32 so we obtain the value 59 right so this becomes matrix after multiplication and this is to be multiplied with the second matrix also the entries are 1 4 6 7 2 5 and 9 8 3 respectively for this matrix right so first of all we have to perform multiplication here and as well again the same rule is followed so the entries of this matrix finally become 0 minus of 131 minus of 353 131 0 minus of 132 3 this is also this is also 353 this becomes 132 and this becomes 0 after multiplication of the two matrices right now let's focus upon the trace for the matrix C now we know 
that trace of the matrix is given by some of the diagonal elements of a matrix. So this matrix is having the diagonal entries as 0 plus 0 plus 0. So the trace for matrix C becomes equivalent to 0. Right. Now we have to find the sum of the matrices for the trace of the matrix C Q plus C to the power 5 and so on to C to the power 99. So let's focus upon the trace of the matrix C cube, right? So we know that if we have a matrix that is having the trace as 0 and another matrix that is also having the trace as 0, then the matrix AB would be having the trace as equal to 0. So if we follow the same process here, so accordingly, the trace for matrix C cube would be also 0 and trace for matrix C to the power 5 would be also 0 and this would continue till C to the power 99 and that was that is also going to have the trace as 0. So if we add sum of all the traces of the matrices that would be equivalent to 0 and so the answer to the given problem becomes 0. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level, trusted by more than 5 crore students, download doubt and app today.